Walking around your offices here, I notice you have a very interesting and dynamic company culture. Um, I see ping pong tables and foosball, yep. Yep. and, and uh, really amazing. A lot of very hardworking but happy looking people. Can you tell me more about your, your uh, company and your employees? Sure. The company, and, your, and your company culture. I can tell you a little bit about that. The company's got about 130 employees. And it's interesting, people ask me about this all the time. Mm. When we first started the company, and for the first two years of the company, we, the, the concept of company culture really never crossed our minds. We were just very focused on how do we get the product market fit right? Yep. How do we get the product right? How do we get the features right? Um, how do we get the sales model right? And then a year ago, we did a survey of all of our employees. We used this is, um, survey methodology that you apply to products called the Net Promoter Score. And there's two questions you ask. Um, one question, the first question is, how likely are you on a scale of one to 10 to refer HubSpot to a friend of yours um, to come work here? Yeah. Um, and then the second question is, um, why? Yeah. It's very simple. Yeah. And we were very surprised with the results. But it turns out people love working here. And the, the, the number one reason why people love working here is fellow HubSpotters. They love the people they work with. And this was kind of a surprise to us. Like, wow, it looks like we have kind of a cool culture here. Let's invest yeah. in it. And so since then, we spent, a, uh, my co-founder and I spent a bunch of energy around it. We hired a, an old professor of ours from um, Sloan to mm. do a consulting project for us to sort of um, institutionalize the culture, to talk to a bunch of our employees and, and try to tease out what is the HubSpot culture. Sure. And we're, we're on our second revision of a PowerPoint deck and a presentation that sort of describes the culture that we indoctrinate our new employees in. Yep. We tell our prospective employees about it. and. Um, so far, it's been really interesting. Um, we have an acronym, and I'm going to get the acronym wrong, but it's MATCHES, and the M in the acronym is for Inbound Marketer. So we like to hire people who are into inbound marketing on okay. Web 2.0. The A is for looking for really analytical people, people who like to look at lots of data and try to come up with counterintuitive insights. Okay. Marketing used to be sort of touchy-feely and arts and craftsy. Now there's so much data that you need really analytical people. Sure. The T is for totally transparent. So we're really transparent as a company. After mm -hmm. our board meetings, I post the, the slides from the board meeting, including financials. I post all the notes from it. People comment like crazy on it, um, on our wiki. People post stuff on the wiki that says, if I were CEO of HubSpot, yep. I would, dot, dot, dot. So our wiki is very interesting. Sure. Um, the C is constant, matches the C is constantly changing. So. We're constantly innovating, constantly changing, constantly challenging our assumption, assumptions, which is very helpful. Okay. H is for humble. Um, we've had some success, but you know, we want to stay as humble as we can. Even sure. if we become like the next eBay or Google or some huge company, I think what kills companies is hubris. So we're trying to keep as humble as we can. Um, the E is for effing effective. Uh, <laughs> So, that's my favorite one. <laughs> so <laughs> that's great. It, it, it's a fun place to work. You can play ping pong. You can play all the foosball you want. We have yep. parties every Friday afternoon and stuff like that. But we, you got to make the numbers. Uh, sure. And everyone's sort of very focused and driven. It's fun, but it's it's sort of focused on the numbers. And the S in matches is for scale. We're always thinking scale. We never do like one-off projects. It's always sure. let's think about projects that'll scale from. You have 2,500 customers today. How do we get to 25,000? Sure. So it's really we're thinking about scale. We want to build a massive company here in Cambridge, Massachusetts. So we spend a lot of time in culture. Um, it's been an interesting journey so far. I've learned a lot about it.